19 Two Sentence Horror Stories, Episode 17 Look mommy, daddy dressed up as a piñata today. As I wonder what she meant, I realized in horror what my husband did. God doesn't hide in heaven because he created us. He hides because he doesn't know where we came from. We rejoiced as we completed the sacrifice and wiped away the blood and feathers. I only realized as my wife began screaming that the book never promised she would bear a human baby. First thing I noticed when the kid sat on my lap was a warm feeling expanding over my legs. But once the smell kicked in and his embarrassed mother rushed to its side, I realized that being Santa at the mall wasn't a good idea. Evacuation numbers have been assigned. If you did not receive instructions, please disregard this message. The pregnancy was unexpected, but I was so excited to meet my baby all the same. Until the doctor discovered 10 months later that it was actually a very large teratoma. I struck a deal with the devil to offer any of my children as an exchange for immortality. There are going to be some angry parents calling the sperm bank very soon. Darling, you're positively glowing. Mona smiled, glad her job at the watch factory was finally paying off. As the car sunk further down in the lake and filled with water, I wondered what my last thought would be. Tyler's classmates always mocked him for being so overweight. But when the plane crashed, stranding them on this barren island, they were very grateful for his plumpness. I didn't think hearing my brother having loud sex in his room would be horrid. That is, until I hear the barks and whimpers of my dog inside. When I saw the grim reaper at my front door, I asked, is it really my time? It replied, no, I'm here for your children. Why don't you just chill? I yell as I slam the door shut. The old refrigerator barely masks the stench of the decaying bodies anymore. If you do not marry me, I will kill you, said the killer. If you agree to kill whoever I want then I will marry you, she responded. It had been almost five years since I lost my son to a mass shooting. I'm sure you can understand my excitement when I received confirmation from the warden that I would be allowed to visit him. It's the ninth time the teacher skipped me in the attendance list. Perhaps they just think I'm still at home because of the car crash last week. Seeing her face in the morning always warms my heart. It truly looks beautiful hanging on my fireplace. It turns out when you die, you spend a day in hell and a day in heaven, and you get to choose where you stay. After my oddly quick yet very pleasant day in heaven, my mind was already made up, yet I was still forced to spend a day in hell, which apparently is equivalent to a millennium on earth. Turns out, I don't have social anxiety. Every single person in the world really does hate me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos, leave a comment and subscribe. See you soon.